Just before yesterday's World Series Game 1 between the Phils at Houston, there was talk. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Why is this game so fucking racist? What? I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is what's next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Borgonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. This is the weekend edition. Hope you're enjoying this Saturday, wherever you are. Well, in my last video, um, did a sports theme uh, regarding baseball. Of course, uh, representing Philadelphia, of course, being from the area. Phillies at Houston. Phillies come back with an amazing game, down 5-0, win 6-5. But, as I said, there was a little bit of controversy in that first one, of course, regarding the National Anthem, but there always has to be made-up controversy in any sports theme. Look at the NBA with LeBron James. Look at, of course, the NFL, Black Lives Matter garbage. And, of course, baseball is no uh, saint in regards to this nonsense because, of course, they bent the knee and kiss the woke ass. And, of course, let's continue in that theme. This comes out of Akik. Player Association head blames Major League Baseball for racism. Lack of black players in World Series. Much has been made to the fact that the first time in 1950, there are no, there are no excuse me, U.S.-born black players actively competing in the World Series. That, of course, Barry's delayed. There are many multiple black players in comp in that compete throughout the season for both the Astros and the Phillies. Not to mention that the Astros manager is black, that there are numerous Afro-Latino Afro players who will be playing in the series, including Astros slugger Jordan Alvarez. But that wasn't enough for Major League Baseball Player Association head Tony Clark, who repeatedly expressed his disappointment with a lack of black players because of racism. According to ESPN, Clark said he was concerned that young black athletes might choose not to play baseball while watching the World Series. One, you're an idiot. Two, C1. It is truly unfortunate that any young black player may be watching these games tonight and not going to see someone that looks like them, you know, my representation. And as a result, make the make decision to go against, continue to play a great game and move on to something else, you know, like basketball or rapping. Wow. Clark said before Friday night's opener between Houston and Philadelphia, that is disappointing and disheartening. He also said that he believes that Major League Baseball years of inattention has created this outcome, and with the lack of black executives and coaches being another indicator. To the extent that we've only got a couple black coaches, to the extent we only have a few black office front staff, Clark continued, it is a conversation that I think you should have with those in positions to why this continues to be the case when they 100% have the ability to control who they hire and who they don't. Yes, let's just hire based on the skin color and not because of quality or qualifications. No, we can't have that, can we? Only American-born black players count. While there is a discussion that could be had about an increasing number of black athletes and executives in baseball, it is disingenuous to ignore the Afro-Latino players that are participating. Clark's concern is that young children watching may be put off by the lack of black players, except that isn't actually accurate. Why are those stars, such as Alvarez, irrelevant to the discussion? The obvious answer is that there's capital and political points to be gained once by saying that there is a problem that Major League Baseball needs to solve. It's certainly not the ideal that there are more American-born black players in a sports signature event, but it's a bit intellectually dishonest to ignore that at least partially due to injuries and declining to include international athletes. My thoughts. One, this guy Clark is an idiot. He is. He's an idiot and a racist clown. Of course, virtue signaling is what the left does best. And that's exactly what you have here. The fact of the matter is, is that we have more uh, Afro-Latino players playing in the Major League Baseball than we had at any time in this sport's 100 plus year history. But no, that's not good enough for clowns like Clark. If you aren't American-born, African-American players, you don't count. That's the only way you can read this. And if he gets called on it, because it won't, because it's ESPN, and of course ESPN uh, will protect its own because ESPN is woke, after all, this is what you get. And Major League Baseball can't say, wait a minute now, look what we have here, why are you being a clown? No, no, they can't say that because 
they got caught up in all the Black Lives Matter uh, garbage in 20 and 21. So this is what we have. You have two great teams, Phillies, Houston, an amazing game one, but no, that's not good enough because if I don't see mob representation, then this game is garbage. No, Clark, you are. And I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is what's next. I want to see more just like this. Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And enjoy the World Series for what it is. America's national pastime. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.